The Confessions of St. Augustine, Book 11, Chapter 24 Do you bid me assent, if any define time to be motion of a body? You do not bid me. For that no body is moved but in time, I hear. This you say, but that the motion of a body is time, I hear not. You say it not. For when a body is moved, I by time measure how long it moves from the time it began to move until it left love. And if I did not see whence it began, and it continued to move, so that I see not when it ends, I can't measure, save per chains from the time I began, until I cease to see. And if I look long, I can only pronounce it to be a long time, but not how long, because when we say how long, we do it by comparison, as this is as long as that, or twice so long as that, or the like. But when we can mark the distances of the places, whence and whither goes the body moved, or his parts, if it moved as in a lathe, then can we say precisely in how much time the motion of that body or his part from this place unto that was finished. Seeing therefore the motion of a body is one thing, that by which we measure how long it is another, who sees not which of the two is rather to be called time? For, and if a body be sometimes moved, sometimes stand still, then we measure, not his motion only, but his standing still too by time, and we say, it stood still as much as it moved, or it stood still twice or thrice so long as it moved, or any other space which our measuring has either a certain or guessed, more or less, as we used to say, time, then, is not the motion of a body. Chapter 25 And I confess to you, O Lord, that I yet know not what time is, and again I confess unto you, O Lord, that I know that I speak this in time, and that having long spoken of time, that very long is not long, but by the pause of time. How then know I this, seeing I know not what time is? Or is it perchance that I know not how to express what I know? Woe is me, that do not even know what I know not. Behold, my God, therefore you I lie not. But as I speak, so is my heart. You shall light my candle, you, O Lord my God, will enlighten my darkness. Chapter 26 Does not my soul most truly confess unto you that I do measure times? Do I then measure, O my God, and know not what I measure? I measure the motion of a body in time, and the time itself do I not measure? Or could I indeed measure the motion of a body, how long it were, and in how long space it would come from this place to that, without measuring the time in which it is moved? This same time then, how do I measure? Do we by a shorter time measure a longer, as by the space of a cubit? the space of a rood? Or for so indeed we seem by the space of a short syllable to measure the space of a long syllable and to say that this is double the other. Thus measure we the spaces of stanzas by the spaces of the verses and the spaces of the verses by the spaces of the feet and the spaces of the feet by the spaces of the syllables, and the spaces of long by the space of short syllables. Not measuring by pages, for then we measure spaces, not times. But when we utter the words and they pass by, 
and we say it is a long stanza because composed of so many verses, long verses because consisting of so many feet, long feet because prolonged in, by so many syllables, a long syllable because double to a short one. But neither do we this way obtain any certain measure of time, because it may be that a shorter verse pronounced more fully may take up more time than a longer pronounced hurriedly. And so for a verse, a foot, a syllable. Whence it seemed to me that time is nothing else than protection, but of what I know not and I marvel, if it be not of the mind itself, For what I beseech you, O oh my God, do I measure when I say either indefinitely, this is no longer time than that, or definitely, this is double that? That I measure time I know, and yet I measure not time to come, for it is not yet, nor present, because it is not protracted by any space nor past, because it now is not. What then do I measure? Time's passing, not past? For so I said.